Ladies and gentlemen, hey, hi, how you doing? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. It seems that uh, Call of Duty and Infinity Ward have forgotten about some updates that were promised for MW2 and Warzone 2 several months ago at this point, which is uh, rather strange. So I figured today we would revisit some of those. Also, in addition to that, we do have some brand new leaks some brand new rumors in regards to some future updates coming to MW2 and Warzone 2 that are kind of peculiar, kind of interesting. In fact, let's start off with those here real quick. Uh, actually stemming from the Season 4 update, we got some brand new information, some brand new leaked gameplay details on an upcoming mode for MW2 multiplayer known as Havoc. And this is actually something that we really haven't seen in Call of Duty before. Of course, usually the new mode updates that we get with any new season is just recycled and rehashed content from old Call of Duty games. It's the party games that should have been there at launch. It's the mode expansions that probably should have been there at launch. But Havoc is a bit different. Uh, the general gameplay description of this one, according to COD Sploits and various other data miners and leakers in the community, is to eliminate the enemies with incrementing gameplay modifiers. So essentially, with this mode, as the match continues on and as you go throughout gameplay, the actual rules and the fundamentals of the gameplay itself is going to be changing and a handful of these new uh actual gameplay modifiers have leaked in the files as well of course as always when it comes to leaks and rumors take this stuff with a grain of salt it could always be adjusted it could be scrapped it could be altered in some way shape or form but the current modifiers for havoc are as follows you've got perspective shift which changes the character's viewpoint to third person allowing players to observe their surroundings and if that happens again you'd switch back to first person so you could go back and forth between that there is ammo feeder which automatically reloads the weapon on kills so every single time you get a kill your weapon will automatically reload which is uh, actually a super convenient thing that used to be a thing back before in multiplayer just as a perk or as a specialist upgrade i think something like that uh hero landing lets the characters set off an explosion from a high vantage point kind of interesting Eyes on keeps the advanced UAV always on, providing next level surveillance. So basically a free advanced UAV. Then boots on the ground gives the character anti-gravity ability, though the exact details are unknown. So it's basically just the LTM that we had for April Fools, where it's uh, less gravity and you can float for a little bit longer when you jump, which is gimmicky, but you know, fun. Honestly, Havoc as a mode sounds very fun. MW2, I feel like, takes itself maybe a little bit too seriously sometimes, uh, but this mode honestly does seem pretty cool. Again, this is just a leak as of right now. Maybe it's something we see with Season 4 Reloaded. Maybe it's something we see with Season 5. Really, for that, only time is going to tell. The other interesting leak that we got recently is in regards to some new perk packages. BK Tour is a data miner and a leaker. We've talked about them a couple of times on the channel in the past. If you've been an active viewer for some time, uh, if you watch the leak videos, you've probably heard that name before. And recently, BK Tour put out an image of various different perk icons that were found apparently in the MW2 game files. However, it's just the same perk icons we have now but updated, which according to BK Tour means one of two things. Either this is meant for Warzone Mobile, just to update the perk icon packages there to have those, uh, you know, almost new for Warzone Mobile, but the same as far as gameplay dynamics go, or this is for Modern Warfare 3. And for that, I would kind of hope it's not, because if that's the case, that means it's going to be all the same stuff that we've already been running this year. I mean, perks as is are relatively standard. For the most part, you're going to get the reused ones every single year, the very standard ones, scavenger, uh, ghost, you know, quick fix, stuff like that. But it would be nice if there's not just completely reused assets in every single aspect of MW3, if it's going to be sold as an entirely brand new game, right? So hopefully it's more Warzone Mobile related and less Modern Warfare 3 related, but it was found in the MW2 files and Warzone 2 files, which is rather convenient, I would say. Anyways, as mentioned at the start of the video, there's a few updates here in uh, Warzone 2 and Modern Warfare 2 that were promised to us some time ago, yet I think the devs genuinely forgot about these because we haven't had any updates on them in quite some time. And as we get into this part of the conversation, if you guys are new to the channel, you want to stay up to date with all things going on between MW2, Warzone, DMZ, pretty much all things going on in COD, honestly. 
feel free to hit that subscribe button turn on those post notifications and if you enjoy the video let me know by dropping a like on it really do appreciate all the love all the support on the channel but you may recall that some time ago in the season two reloaded patch notes yes we're going that far back in time there was a uh, brief typo in the actual patch notes themselves they were talking about various uh weapon buffs and nerfs different attachments being adjusted and on the lockman sub aka the mp5 they said the lm nebula barrel was adjusted except in game there is no such thing as the lm nebula barrel and a little bit after those patch notes went out infinity ward tweeted this our season two reloaded patch notes incorrectly featured the lm nebula barrel attachment which is actually coming to a future season we've amended the patch notes to reflect this and thank you for your patience while we address this error sorry for the confusion so it's coming in a future season except we just got the season four update which featured a new barrel for the 74u that uh, at the time that i'm recording this this video is going to be going up in a few days time so could be live by the time this goes out we'll have to wait and see but that barrel is coming out during season four right but this mp5 barrel the lm nebula still nowhere to be seen this is from season two reloaded we've got technically two seasonal updates left that we know of so far i guess maybe three season four reloaded season five season five reloaded that's according to the leaks and rumors of how long mw2's seasonal content is going to last kind of strange that this went out so long ago and there's yet to be any mention of the lm nebula barrel ever again so definitely an update that is mia right now did infinity ward forget that they mentioned this new mp5 barrel would be coming or maybe it's reserved for season five and they really jumped the gun on adding that into the patch notes uh really only time is gonna tell but in case anyone from infinity ward is watching this that that does still exist that was in the patch notes also in similar uh style here there was some other things mentioned in the patch notes or one specific thing mentioned in the patch notes back at uh the season three reveal that also is still MIA. In fact, we had the release date revealed for this and they just forgot to put it in the game. Maybe anyways, from the initial season three reveal blog, they say coming at mid season. So previewing the season three reloaded update, including decontamination stations. The first sentence in this little sub paragraph area here, in addition to the above, expect even more new and returning features and items within warzone 2 to arrive as a part of the season 3 mid-season update including the decontamination station those who spend some time on caldera know the power of this life-saving field upgrade which creates a bubble of safe air to protect operators from the toxic circle collapse and unless this was uh secretly added in and is somehow the absolute rarest thing to ever find in warzone it's not in the game. I've seen no footage of it in game. There was no patch notes mentioning it in game. I have not found one in game. The decontamination station is nowhere to be found, even though it was directly addressed in these patch notes and in, in this blog saying it was coming in season three reloaded. So no communication in this regard either. There hasn't been any updates. They haven't said, hey, this is delayed. It'll be coming in season four reloaded or anything like that. So another sort of head scratcher there we've got several things confirmed to be coming to the game that we don't know about now even months later kind of a weird scenario but that being said that is going to wrap things up for this one if you enjoyed the video let me know by dropping a like on it would be seriously appreciated and if you are new here you want to stay up to date with all things going on in call of duty be sure to hit that subscribe button join us on the road to 1 million subscribers and as always if you want to check out any of my partners be sure to use code immortal on all g fuel gamer advantage and control freak products and the links for all those can be found down in the description below but once again, thank you so much for tuning in. And until next time, take it easy, have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.